Hello readers, it's Miss Bushman. Have you ever been to the library and browsed the shelves of books? I love going to the library. Last time I was there, I found so many different kinds of books. I found some storybooks or narratives. I found some poetry books. And I even found some books with plays. Today, we are going to take a look at how these pieces of writing are organized. First, let's look at the poem by Carl Sandburg. This poem is called Fog. Can you imagine what fog looks like? Let's read the poem together. Fog by Carl Sandburg. The fog comes on little cat feet. It sits looking over harbor and city on silent haunches and then moves on. After reading this poem, I can see that it is broken up into different units or parts. These small units are called verses or stanzas. The first verse is in red and the second verse is in blue. I also noticed something else about this poem. Carl Sandburg uses certain language to help us visualize or create images to match the poem. I saw this line, the fog comes on little cat feet. Do you see that right in the beginning of the poem? This sentence is a metaphor. It compares fog to little cat feet without using the word like or as. This helps me understand that fog creeps in quietly like a cat. The words help me create an image in my mind for the poem. Something else I know about poetry is that there is usually some type of rhythm or beat. You can read poetry so that it has a rhythm. Here is a different kind of writing. This is a passage taken from the story, The Tale of Peter Rabbit. This story is about a naughty little rabbit who gets caught going into his neighbor's garden. Let's read the first paragraph. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now that we've read part of the story, let's look carefully at this writing to see how it is organized. First, I see that this is a story. It has sentences organized into paragraphs. Paragraphs are used to divide up a story. The paragraphs are in different colors, red, blue, and green. This writing looks a lot longer than the poem. I also see that there is dialogue or talking in this story. At the bottom, I see that Mrs. Rabbit says, Now run along and don't get into mischief. I am going out. Do you see any other lines that are dialogue or talking in the story? Within this story, there are characters. I highlighted the characters from this passage in red. There is Mrs. Rabbit, Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. This is different from the poem. In the poem, there weren't any characters. I also see that the story takes place in the woods and that Mr. McGregor's garden is an important place. This is the story's setting. The last piece of writing I'm going to investigate is drama or a play. Plays look much different from a poem or a story. Let's take a look at the play, The Three Billy Goats. I'm going to read the first few lines out loud. The Three Billy Goats. Narrator. Once upon a time, there were three goats. They lived in a little valley in the hills. One day, they saw a lot of grass to eat on the other side of the hill. So they decided to go there because they were very hungry. Goats walk onto the stage. All three goats. 
We have to go there. The grass over there looks greener. Goats point across the bridge. Narrator. But to go there, they had to cross a wooden bridge under which an ugly troll lived. Middle goat. Come on, let's go now. Now that we've read through the play, let's look at how it is different from a poem and a story. First, at the beginning, we see the characters in the play. This tells us how many people are needed to act in the play. I also see that the character's name is given, and then what they are saying out loud. The character's names are in red. What they are speaking, or their dialogue, comes after. Last, I can see that there are stage directions within a play. These directions are highlighted for you in green. Let's look at the first line of the narrator. In green, it says that the goats need to walk on the stage. This tells that whoever is acting as the goat needs to move onto the stage at this point in the story. These lines are not said out loud during the play. Readers, now you know the difference between poetry, narrative, and drama.